as a dessert or even as a breakfast it can't be beat it's very nice mm. it's a very nice dumpling bowl to another episode of Bushcraft Baking. I've just completed a few miles hike through the Dutch forest in what is for the Netherlands unusually hot weather. In fact it's quite sweltering hot at the moment. Uh, not something I usually enjoy but uh, everything uh, to make a nice recipe video. Uh, I thought I brought along some uh, uh, some nice uh, summery things, uh, some blueberries, uh, brought along some flour, some sugar and I thought that would be a very nice combination to make some nice fruit dumplings. Uh, that's something I really enjoy and uh, I hope you do too. So let's not waste another minute and I'll show you the recipe so you can make these at home. So first up is showing you what I'll use to make the fruit dumplings. I brought along my uh, Crusader 2 cooking sets, which is a rather complete set consisting of a cooker, a canteen cup and uh, well it's a drinking cup but I usually use it uh, to mix my dough in because it's plastic and the dough won't stick. All right, first thing is we're going to mix up the dough for the fruit dumplings. Uh, you can make fruit dumpling dough using, well, basically any uh, kind of bannock or flour mix you, uh, you like, as long as it doesn't contain uh, too much uh, sugar, because the sugar makes it dissolve. And don't include too much baking powder, because the baking powder makes uh, kind of fluffy dumplings, which is fine uh, for uh, savory soups, but isn't as good for... Uh, uh, making fruit dumplings because they will dissolve and not leave a, a, a firm shell to contain the fruit. Uh, I always include one egg. Which I just mix in with the flour. And also I like to include just a little bit of sugar in the, the dough to make the, the shell taste a little sweeter. But you have to be careful not to include too much sugar because it will make the dough uh, not as firm as you, uh, as you boil it in water because the water will make it dissolve. Well, you kind of mix up the dough like this and you're looking for a kind of a firm, a firm dough you can really knead to make a thin shell to contain the fruits. As you can see this is more like a batter so I need more of my flour to firm it up a little bit. Oh, not too, not too much flour. All right, we have our little dough ball, which we'll be finishing uh, up soon. We'll knead it into as flat as form as we can, so we can fill it with uh, blueberries. Now it's time to uh, set up my stove and boil some water for the fruit dumplings. And you need enough water to fill, completely cover the dumpling. And luckily this canteen cup is uh, quite large, so we'll put in about half a liter. And now we'll wait for it to boil. All right, the water's almost bo almost boiling. I've uh, kind of taken the liberty to flatten out the dough um, uh, so I can put in the blueberries in this case. You can use really any kind of fruit you want. I've made these using uh, bananas, uh, apple, uh, pears. I really like the, the apple version where you include some cinnamon and some uh, more sugar. But any kind of fruit will do. Basically what you do, you fill the middle of the fruit dumpling with the fruit and then you include a little bit of sugar on top of the fruit to make a kind of a kind of uh, yeah, jam-like uh, uh, filling as the, the dumpling boils. Uh, this is more than enough, and then you put the size sides of the fruit dumpling together like this. Make sure it doesn't stick to whatever you're using to make the filling, and then you put the sides together like this and you kind of pinch it. There we go, I touched up the dumpling uh, for you guys. Uh, basically what you do is you flatten the dough, you just make 
you just made into um, a kind of a pancake. You uh, put the blueberries inside and then you uh, pinch the sides together and then you make a little ball like this. And now all we have to do is wait for the, the water to boil and I'll boil the dumpling and then we, uh, we get to eat it in about uh, eight minutes. Well, as you can see, the water has just come to a boil and that's the perfect time to include the dumpling. Uh, getting the dumpling into the water uh, can be quite uh, kind of tricky. Uh, what I prefer to use is uh, a spork. So I can put it on the side of the spork and just gently lower it in. There we go. And now we wait for about uh, eight minutes and we gently, we gently ease them in there. Then we just leave them alone to boil. Just getting back to uh, kind of show you guys uh, what a fruit dumpling uh, developing looks like. As you can see, it's uh, almost doubled in size because the, the in this case the, the the baking powder or the yeast inside of the flour is uh, just enough to make it bloom a little bit, but not enough uh, to make it dissolve. Uh, try to watch the cooking. This is going a little bit too fast, so I think I'll uh, put on the simmering my trench here. There we go. Can be quite a, a tricky uh, a tricky thing to make a dumpling but as you can see it's nice and firm. It already uh, 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 flipped itself so that's a good thing. That's our dumpling uh, just about done. As you can see it's more almost more than doubled its size and uh, well it's uh, ready to uh, to come out let me just cut into it and show you guys what it's like as you can see it's uh, almost a, a cake like consistency with uh, the blueberries inside it's very hot with the blueberries inside uh, any kind of fruit you use uh, is basically fine as I can as I said you can use it with apple to make kind of an apple pie you can use it with uh, bananas to make a more tropical treat I prefer it uh, with blueberries um, it's a very uh, it's a very very nice treat as you can see the inside of the dumpling is cooked into a sort of, sort of cake like consistency it's very nice so I'll uh, try a bite mm. that's very good just like blueberry pie Hope you guys like my recipe for fruit dumpling. It's one of my favorite things to eat in the forest. Um, both savory with bacon and onion and uh, sweet like this. As a dessert, as a lunch, it's, uh, it, it can't, really can't be beat. So uh, I'm going to leave you and I'm going to start enjoying this dumpling. See you guys soon and on to the red next recipe. If you have any suggestions or uh, questions or anything uh, you want me to cook in the forest, please let me know in the comments and see you guys soon. Bye. Mm.